Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have made surprise visit to the New Zealand High Commission in London to pay their respects to the victims of the devastating mosque terror attacks in Christchurch. A lone gunman launched open fire on mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand on Friday, killing 50 people and injuring scores more people. The world reacted in shock in the wake of the massacre as countries across the globe united in support for New Zealand. Meghan, Harry, William and Kate released a joint statement following the atrocity. But today Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made an unannounced visit to the New Zealand High Commission to pay their respects to the victims of the gruesome attacks. Looking somber and dressed in dark clothing, the royal couple sat down at New Zealand House to sign a book of condolences to offer their well wishes to the families of the victims. Meghan, who is around eight months pregnant, wore a demure oversized black coat for the occasion, while Harry wore a dark navy suit. The Duchess in a touching gesture also wore a pair of earrings with a crossed feathers design which had been given to her by New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern. On arrival at the High Commission in London the Duke and Duchess of Sussex lay bouquets of flowers outside the building in central London, adding to the pile of floral tributes which has grown since Friday. The pair extended their condolences on behalf of the whole royal family. The Duke and Duchess visited New Zealand in October when they undertook a 16-day tour which also included visits to Australia, Donga, and Fiji. The couple visited the region on happier terms as they announced Meghan was pregnant with the couple's first royal baby as they touched down in Sydney, Australia. Meghan is expected to give birth to her first child late next month, after she let slip clues to her due date earlier this year. Kensington Palace's announcement had previously only confirmed she would give birth in the spring. Meghan and New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern are thought to be close, following their first meeting in last October. The Duchess met with Ames Ardern in January, while the Prime Minister was visiting in the UK. Kensington Palace described the meeting as private and the engagement was previously unannounced.